Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Trump a little bit. But it leads us to uh, something else. It leads us to talking about license, fines, stuff like that. If you missed the news, the former president did not have a good day uh, yesterday. According to the people who were in the courtroom, he, uh, at one point slammed his hands on the table, got up and huffed and stormed out of the courtroom during proceedings uh, like a toddler throwing a tantrum. There was an audible gasp as it occurred. And I mean, yeah, that fits. But before then, he got called up to the stand. And the judge hit him with a $10,000 fine for, once again, violating the gag order. This is the second time. The first time it was $5,000. Now it's $10,000. $15,000. For a whole lot of people, that is a life-changing amount of money. That, that's, a, that's a big deal for a whole lot of people. And it, it kind of brings us back to a hard reality. If the only penalty for an action is a monetary fine, well, that means it's not illegal for rich people. It's not a fine, it's a license to do it. They're just paying installments on the license. That applies in a whole lot of different ways. There are things that due to a lack of power coupons, a lack of cash, that are just impossible for a whole lot of people. Sometimes illegal. Just existing in some places if you don't have enough money as a crime. But for the former president storming out of a courtroom, slamming his hands on the table, directly violating a gag order from a judge twice. Well, he's just got to pay a little bit. I feel like for somebody who didn't have that kind of money, they might end up uh, a guest of the state for a night or two. So, the other thing that this uh, kind of shows us is that Trump has no intention of changing. He, he's definitely, definitely set the example that he intends on violating this gag order. These proceedings, they're going to go on for some time. And Trump is having more and more bad news delivered to him every day. His behavior is becoming more and more erratic. His statements that violate that gag order will become more and more direct. And I feel like over time, they'll probably become more and more angry. There are a lot of people in this country who look up to that person and view him as somebody to follow, somebody to listen to, somebody to act on their requests. At some point, the judge in this case is going to have to uh, determine whether or not a monetary fine alone is enough to alter his behavior. Because as the stress mounts, it seems incredibly likely that his rhetoric becomes more and more, well, let's just say problematic. We've seen it before. The last time 
he faced a whole bunch of stress situation that he couldn't alter the outcome of it didn't end well something that the judge probably has gnawing at the back of his mind and I feel like it won't be long before the judge is in a situation where he has Trump in front of him again deciding what route to take because the former president once again violated that gag order. I feel like monetary penalties will only be something that is uh, on the table for so long. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.